In the spring of 2008, a Stanley Lake High School student's heart stopped beating while she was at school. A fellow student, the school resource officer, CPR, and an AED, or Automated External Defibrillator, helped save this young woman's life. This is one of the reasons every freshman at Pomona High School is now required to take a CPR class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Did you save them? When I first come up, the scene is safe for me, I'm going to come up and tap. Hey, you okay? None of this kind of stuff. Okay? No smack in the face. Are you okay? Do I get any response? Do it like you're supposed to. Do it this way. Tap on, tap on the shoulder or something, okay? Palm on the forehead, two fingers under the chin, tilt the head back, and then I'm going to get down right over them. For five to ten seconds, I'm going to look, see if the chest is rising. I'm going to listen. Do I hear them breathing? And I'm going to feel. Do I feel any air right here on my cheek from the person? You sent somebody. You sent somebody for 911. Basically, it's a family type CPR. It's not a full certification. Uh, they're learning what to do if somebody goes down. They're learning a little bit about the heart, what would cause problems with it, such as heart disease, um, and the arteries with cholesterol and clogging of it. Uh, learning to live a little healthier le lifestyle. Um, they'll be able to deal with somebody that goes down, whether it's an adult, a child, or an infant. And I need to give two breaths. So breath one. Watch the chest rise, and then it goes back down. Breath two, chest rises, goes back down. After I give my two breaths, then I come down. One hand goes right down, second hand is right on top of it, and I'm gonna go down. 30 compressions. Chest compressions are the big important things because it circulates the blood, and that's what keeps the brain and the heart alive. Back over to two breaths. So after a minute of that, then I would come down and check to see if I have a pulse. If there's no pulse, I would give two breaths and go right back into all these chest compressions. If they ever save a life because of this, it's one heck of an impact. I mean, there's no way to explain that feeling. But keep going as long, as long as you can. Do the best you can.